Hello and welcome to another exciting edition of Sports Weekly, your one-stop shop for all things sports. It's coming from the stables of Ascent TV. Let's talk the youth games here in Nigeria. We can tell you that defending champions Team Delta on Saturday in Ilori won the third edition of the National Youth Games, NYG, after gathering 22 gold medals, 16 silver medals and 23 bronze medals medals. Team Aqua Ibom came second with 16 gold medals, 15 silver medals and 15 bronze medals while Ondo State finished third with 12 gold medals, 12 silver medals and 12 bronze medals. It's been an amazing um, times, you know, in the National Youth Games. This is the kind of tournaments that we should be having, you know, in Nigeria, you know, where we develop and sport uh, new talents. How, how did it all go in the National Youth Games? The whole idea of having a youth game yeah. is, a pro is a very, very positive one. Mm. It's a positive, it's commendable. Yeah. But the question is, how do you hold a youth game when the schools are not involved? The schools? Yes. Mm. I don't understand. How do you hold a youth game when the schools are not involved? Like Sheko Dekbami said, there is need for us to be able to marry sports and education. Mm. Because right now, even the, youth, the whole idea of holding a youth game without having a marriage and integration of Nuga, Nipoga, into, and even I think there's one other one for the College of Education, into the whole program. All right. So what we, what we are just witnessing is a situation where we are, we are not seeing people thinking broadly, if I use that word. We are not thinking broadly. Yes, the idea of having a youth game is good. But the question for me and you is the how. Mm. The how continues to be a problem. And the how is, oh, these youths, you brought them from here. How did you produce them? Where did you produce them? Some of these youths are representing states. Then I ask a question, where did the state get them from? Was there an age limit? I hear that the Minister of Sports has now put an age limit that if you are not in school, like Shego Degbami said, if you are not in school, there is no way you should be allowed to participate in the youth games. So what we should actually have is those who should come into the youth games should be selected from Nuga. Either from Nuga, or from, secondly, there's even no school game, no, no sport event secondary for secondary schools. schools. So it's the people from Nuga, people from Nupoga. So what we should be, the youth games should actually be either, you might even be surprised, we, we can even classify the youth games as an event for only people from secondary schools. And what are the rewards? There was no reward scheme. To win a gold medal in a youth game, it's good, it's honorable. But if you go to the United States where sports is like, is like the, is, is sports is like culture for them, to get admission into you know, some universities in this field, you need to show evidence about your profici proficiency in, in sports, in different sports. And that is critical. We should stop doing things on hard hoc basis. We should have what I call a strategic plan. And it must go from one state to the next state, to the, from the local government, from the world, to the local government, after the local government, to the state, mm. after the state, to the national. But today we just have a situation where we say, oh, you have a youth game. And what the, how do you produce the people that are going to the youth games? We do not know. Who are those that come to youth games? We do not know. I think there is need for us to bring some of these people. We need to invite some of these people who plan some of these things to this studio to really explain so that we can we can be in the know. That's mm. important for us. All right. Still talking the youth games, um, Ogun, Benue, Bayelsa, Oshun, Niger, and FCT, Plateau are all um, states who have won some measure of success at uh, the national youth games. And I think that you're still raising some very um, interesting interesting points. I've said this before how it looks like there's a lot of 
you know, um, everyone is doing different things. So there is Nipoga, there is Nuga, there's the youth games and all of that. But none of these things are very holistic. They are not very strategic. You know, you don't see the, the plan, you know, from how do you develop, you know, a world beater? How do you develop an Olympic, um, you know, champion, you know, from, you know, primary school to secondary to university and all of that? It's very important that um, we try and put all of these things in perspective and develop, you know, uh, a, a, a proper game plan, you know, for success. All right, moving on now into the world of tennis. Let's tell you that our very own Aruna Quadri, you know, has won the Polish Open. So he's won the men's singles event of the ITTF Challenge Polish Open. Um, Aruna Quadri defeated Japan's Kai Yoshida after six sets. 11-7, 11-13, 11-8, 6-11, 11-8, 14-12 11, 11, 11, to become the first African to win an ITTF title outside the continent. Aruna Kodri doesn't seem to stop um, breaking records and being in the news for all of the good for reasons. For good reasons. Yeah. Um, congratulations to Aruna Kodri. I think uh, uh, apparently this station Asian TV have monitored him and they've done quite some amount of exposition and material on him and uh, it shows that uh, he's been a good uh, ambassador for uh, table tennis, especially in this country. Uh, what I think uh, we need to do is any event, without the media, without media, every, any event becomes just an activity. Some of these events that I don't know is winning out there, we never, had the, we never have the opportunity here of watching it. Uh, the closest we have got into watching any top flight table tennis event was in the ITTF and C Masters event that took Lagos. place in, in Lagos. And I think there's really, there, you see, when it comes to sports, there's so much we need to do. There's so much that needs to be done. But we say congratulations to Aaron Quadri. He's, do, he's done well for himself. After losing in the semi, I think it was in the, uh, the quarterfinals the in the ITTF uh, Lagos Open. After losing then, I, 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 when I saw him, he was really in a pensive mood and everything because everybody thought that it was his to take. And if he doesn't take it, then it was his fault. He, he accepted it was his, he has, by his performance after that event, he's done some travels and he's done well in all of this event. And he has I mean, gone I, I think that's the, I think that's the stuff of champions, you know. You might fall sometimes, you know, but you always pick yourself back up and get back on track. Aruna Kodri lost um, the Lagos Open right, right here in Lagos, you know, before his own kindred, you know, but he did exactly the same thing, you know, to, um, at the Polish Open where he defeated uh, Japan's um, Kai Yoshida, who plies his trade in Poland. Oh. So there was a lot of um, home support also for Kai Yoshida, but Exactly. Aruna Kodri defeated him, and he has our congratulations and um, the many thanks of um, a lot of Nigerians back back home. So it's not only football that can bring us glory. Exactly. I, I think that um, we would get glory in um, a in lot more sports. sports. You know, I know the you remember the um, D Tigress yeah. also brought back um, the, the trophy. The trophy, but you they, know, on the African the stage. The tigers were not able to do that. The, the tigers, I mean, they they also gave it their all, and uh, they were able to. They lost in the in the finals. So, I mean, I think these are exciting times for Nigeria as far as sports is um, concerned. We're still talking tennis. Let's also let you know that the 2017 edition of the Governors Cup. Lagos Tennis Championship has begun uh, with qualifying matches, you know, that will pave the way for real action at the Lagos Lawn Tennis um, Club, Unico, on Monday. Competition began on Monday in the 17th Governor's Cup Lagos Championship in Lagos with Abdul Mumin Babalola and three other Nigerians, you know, Nigerian players already crashing out. I mean, the tournament is just starting and on the very first day, Three Nigerian, four Nigerian players, I beg your pardon, have already crashed out. Um, and it's, it's not um, looking nice, you know, um, on the lawn tennis um, court. Babalala, who is a white card entrant, you know, lost 0-6 um, 
and three six to Frenchman Johan Sebastian Talot, you know, who is number seven seed. Um, unseeded um, Clifford and Nose Rigby also lost to Andrew Watson, an unseeded player from UK. While um, another top seed Nigerian player, Karim Mohamed Mamoun, was defeated by unseeded Dutch player Stefan Franzen in two straight sets, losing 2 6. Two, six. What, what, what's your response to this? I mean, it's happening right here in Lagos, but we don't see Home to support is not good enough. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, let's look at it this way, like, yeah. I, like I tell people. Uh, when it comes to sports, mm. at what point do you get into sports? The earlier, the better. Yeah. Some of these players that we call unseeded, mm. that have come to play, many of them started playing tennis at the age of nine, eight, seven. Yeah, I think even younger and, uh, than that. Yeah, do, right, is built into the educational program. I did watch one of the top youth players in South Africa uh, who went to play in Mexico and who was being interviewed and he said he has gone to play in Mexico, he has gone to play in Australia, he has gone to play in Europe and uh, he's been coached by some of the top uh, long tennis uh, mm -hmm. coaches in South Africa. It's a lot of money that his parents put into grooming him. Mm -hmm. The point I'm just trying to make is, you don't, when it comes to sports, there's, it's not fluke. There must be what I call a deliberate plan which is being set to achieve certain definite results. Mm. This is the 30th edition of the Governor's Cup. I ask one question I keep on asking people is, we've held the Governor's Cup for 13 years. In the 13 years, has any Nigerian won the single uh, event? If no Nigerian has won the single event, what program, what plan has been put in place such that we will make sure that the Governor's Cup will not be a free takeaway for foreign players to just come, and most of the time, a lot of unseeded players to come and take it away. What we know that when it comes to long tennis, the last person when it comes to long tennis from Nigeria that are really that are even has uh, scratched, let me call that was scratch the international arena with uh, with a presence was Undukao Diva. So we do not have this. If I put it, we are not planning. If I use that word, we are not planning because it's good that we are having the Governors Cup here because it brings the international players here so that more players here can get that experience. Mm. But it's not just good enough just having a one-off event. We must have what I call a strategic plan, starting from the schools, like I said, starting from the schools, then it builds into the Governor's Cup, and we should now even make the Governor's Cup a big event like Wimbledon, like French Open, like uh, Australian Open, like the US Open. You see, each, we should sit down and think. That's all I have to say. We should just sit down and think. It's sit not good enough down to just be players think. here. All right, it's been exciting times here in the studio of Arsen TV discussing um, stories coming out from all across the world of sports. Uh, we've touched on tennis and football and then also on um, lawn tennis. Uh, I think um, it's been it's been wonderful being with you in the studio. My pleasure, as usual, Emmanuel. Great. Thank you for always for always being here. I think um, the submission is simple. Talent is never is never enough, you know. For African sports and maybe Nigerian sports in particular, we have to, you know, come back to that famous drawing board and try and chart a way, you know, a systematic way, you know, a deliberate system where uh, we would develop sports, you know, from the grassroots, you know onto um, Olympic stardom. Thank you very much for watching this. Um, until we come your way next week, goodbye and have a great week ahead.